Here is everything you need to know about the Galaxy Z Flip 5 as fast as possible. And if you end up wanting to pick one up, I'll have affiliate links with massive discounts in the description and pinned comment. The most obvious change is the nearly four times larger and dramatically more useful outer display, which Samsung is calling the Flex Window. On the previous generation Flip 4, the screen was small and only good for reading some notifications and interacting with a few small widgets. Now we'll get more details in those widgets and with a simple pinch, you'll see all of your widgets on one screen. You can also now respond to messages, use Google Maps, and even watch YouTube videos while your phone is closed. Samsung Wallet is also accessible from the Flex window for quick access to mobile payments, boarding passes, digital keys, and more. Selfies also get a whole lot easier with this display too, thanks to the extra camera controls and the ability to review your pictures without needing to open up the phone. Samsung made a huge improvement to the hinge, so the phone can now finally close without a gap. However, based on what I saw from early reviews, the crease is still just as noticeable, and that's pretty disappointing because your finger's gonna run across that crease often with regular use. As for the cameras, they're almost exactly the same as last year with two 12 megapixel cameras on the cover and one 10 megapixel on the inside. The difference is that Samsung put a more clear glass on the lenses, helping a bit with low light performance, and the 10 megapixel inside camera gets a slightly wider angle, as well as an aperture bump from f2.4 to f2.2, which may also help a bit with low light shots. And speaking of low light shots, Samsung says they've improved night shot capabilities, but that's most likely due to the enhanced processing power of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, as well as some software improvements instead of any physical changes. Only time will tell if the Flip 5's cameras perform any better than the Flip 4, but my guess is that the improvements will be limited to low light shots and photos using the digital zoom. And one more thing on the cameras. You may see marketing for features like super steady mode to get ultra stable video or auto framing mode to automatically zoom in or out to keep everyone in the shot. Those are both already on the Z Flip 4. This hand icon enables super steady mode and this icon in the corner enables auto framing mode. That said, perhaps there are some improvement to these features, but without any hardware changes, that's pretty unlikely. The battery size stays the same at 3700 milliamp hours, but since the Flip 5 has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip in it, we should see a slight boost in battery life thanks to the chip's efficiency. Now time for the most disappointing news. Despite having a tremendously powerful Snapdragon chip, the Flip 5 still does not support Samsung DeX, which is a feature on every other Samsung flagship smartphone that allows you to turn your phone into a full-blown desktop computer. Now, sure, maybe the market for people who want a compact flip phone and also want Samsung DeX is pretty small, but let me know in the comments below if you're a flip user and really want to be using DeX as well, because maybe there's a lot of you. A few more things that don't get an improvement are the 25 watt fast wired charging, fast wireless charging 2.0, and the IPX8 water resistance rating. That means the Flip 5 does not add dust resistance. The Flip 5 supports both physical nano SIMs as well as eSIMs, unlike Apple who's completely done away with the physical SIM cards. And for someone like myself who needs to switch devices often, this is much appreciated. Wi-Fi 6E is also now supported, and this will help you maintain a faster Wi-Fi connection when there are many devices connected to a single Wi-Fi 6E capable router. This will be more helpful on public Wi-Fi or if you happen to own a Wi-Fi 6E capable router. Regardless, I'm glad to see that the feature's there. Eight gigs of RAM comes standard on the Flip 5 and the base storage gets a bump from 128 gigabytes to 256 gigabytes, but you can still upgrade to a 512 gigabyte storage option if you want to. In terms of durability, the glass is now Gorilla Glass Victus 2 for added strength. The inner screen durability has also been improved with a shock dispersion layer and a redesigned back which makes the display more solid, hopefully adding to a more glass-like feel. And the new hinge is made in two layers, which adds better shock absorption to protect your phone if you drop it on the hinge. The Flip 5 ships with Android 13 on One UI 5.1.1 and comes in eight different colors, four of which are exclusive to Samsung.com and the phone will start at $999.99. And if you pre-order it with the affiliate links in the description and pinned comment, and trade in a Flip 4, you can get an insane $900 discount, which gets you a Flip 5 for just $100. And if you wanna see the rest of the incredible Flip 5 deals, check out this video here, and let me know if you think the Flip 5 is worth it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss my deep dive coverage of the Flip 5. That's it for this tech episode. God bless guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.